breaking news. Our Neze replies Buhari for referring to Ibo as dots in a circle. Apex Ibo Social Cultural Organization or Neze Ndi Ibo on Thursday has slammed President Modu Buhari for referring to South Easterners as a dot in a circle and threatening another with military invasion. The group insisted that the president had a choice between dialogue or an avoidable war against the Igbos. In a statement signed by the organization's National Publicity Secretary, Chief Alex Ubuna, the group insisted that President Modibari's nepotism and sectional government reinforced the agitation for Biafra by Igbo youth in the Southeast. Oanese accused the president of not hiding his disdain for the Igbo since the beginning of his regime, simply because they failed to vote en masse for him in 2015. The group decreed what it described as a, delib as a deliberate posting of the northern military and police officers at various strategic locations in the southeast, insisting that Operation Restored Peace launched alongside the, short, the shoot on site order issued by the Inspector General of Police was targeted at innocent evil youths. Our Nese went, went on to accuse Buhari-led federal government of what it described as an unprecedented lopsidedness in favor of the Fulani to the exclusion of other ethnic groups, especially in the area of security architecture, which according to Heat would worsen the National Secretary security crisis in the country. While justifying agitations by Iwo youth, the group said that it was committed to a diplomatic approach towards a restructured Nigeria that ensures equity, fairness, and rule of law. Recall that President Modi Buhari in an interview on Arise TV on Thursday and referred to IPOP agitators in the Southeast as nothing but a dot in a large circle, insulting that they had nowhere to go. The, presid the president retreated his now deleted tweet post or Twitter post where he threatened to deal with South East agitators in a language that they would understand, adding that his government would send arm armed forces against them if care is not taken. Thank you for listening to this news. Wow. Oh, Anisi, I said it. You see? This is always the problem that we are facing in this country. Thank you, viewers, for listening to this news. I can see all the hate against evil people turn around for their good. Do you know that the world has said it, that all things will together work for the good of them that love the Lord and for them that he has called according to his purpose. Yes. Yes. I totally agree with him. Just a matter of time. Since he's not God, but a mere mortal, I know that God must surely prove to him that he is the God of justice and of all flesh. You can imagine. Sure. No matter what, why he doesn't have the right to call IPOP or Eastern Security Network names or any other person 
names. What Igbo need is freedom. They want to be granted that freedom. That is all they need. They don't need any other thing than freedom. Why can't it be given to why can't it why can't it be given to them? The first time he, he, he addressed them as uh, he addressed them as terrorist group. Biafra and IPOP members they they they, they, they uh, retaliated, but Namika never said anything. He kept on saying, I will expose them. I will expose federal government and their evil deeds. Yes. Look at what, what, what tomorrow being June 12th. NAS, NANS suspends June 12th activities, protests for tomorrow. We don't know what will happen during the protests. We don't know. We actually don't know. But I know that God in his infinite mercy will protect his people from this evil act. Yes. So, Igbos are, the pe are people that have come to liberate the rest tribes. Well, this is what Buhari failed to, has failed to, to realize. He knows it, but he doesn't want to accept it. He would have come to liberate all this, the, the Yoruba and the Arusas or the Northerners. But they have, the haters of Igbos have refused to, to know that. They know, but they, will never, they don't want to believe that Igbos will be the one to liberate or bring peace in Nigeria. This is why they have been, they, they have been avoiding Nambi Kano, saying, saying that the freedom will not be given to him. You can imagine, because they have plans. They know that if this freedom is given to Biafra, <laughs> their lives will be empty. Their lives will be empty. So jealous, federal government jealous to the Igbos, or should I say the northern and jealous to the Igbos, will definitely kill them very soon. Biafran is not people that you think they are. They are not criminals. They are not terrorist group. They are calm people. They are calm people. So viewers, Biafran exists. Our Biafra existence we expose completely the inadequacy and incapability incapa of death fulanization or fulanism. Mark my words. Mark my word on this. God bless the United or Nizi people. Fulani is taking uh, is taking we Igbos for granted. But they shall tell. I pray this protest is, is not suspended by NANS. We want a peaceful protest. I know that's what we want. We don't want a violent protest or protest that will call war. Or that will, disturb, that will take people's lives. We don't want that. So viewers, what, what is your take on this? Please, I would urge you to please drop your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive notifications whenever we upload new videos. And please don't forget, like and also share this news as well. Thank you.